Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Brawlhalla Summer Championship. And oh, man, yeah. it's a scorcher out here, huh? It's hot out here in Shipwreck Falls. I know. We gotta I know. have. It's, we get our sunscreen. Relax, right? We need our, ha our, our beachcomber hats. <laughs> it's uh, we're 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 ready for summer. Oh right? yeah, we're it, ready it for is the summer the season, man. I'm sure most of the players are dressed like this right now. Of course, um, you know, because it's summer. You wear you wear the lace. That, that is or... the way that you guarantee you get these circuit <laughs> points, right? You got to dress for the role. You got to dress for the role. It's summer. You know, people were in their snowsuits in the Winter Championship, right? People Naturally. People were wearing their, their, uh, their spring hats during the Spring Championship. That but here yet? we are in mm -hmm. summer. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the Summer Championship. It's the European 1v1 coming up first. And we've got Ooh. some great matches coming up. First up, let's just get right into it. Oh, yeah. The Stardust versus Reason Gaming's Iram. Oh, man. So These guys are great absolute powerhouses. You know, they're longtime players in the scene. And Stardust, you know, he took a break for a little bit. We've mentioned this before in uh, some of the most recent tournaments. He took a break, but he's back and looking stronger than ever. That's right. Uh, so something, something important to mention, both of these players have won a circuit tournament recently, Ooh. like very recently, right? So I know we're in top 32. This is just the first match of top 32. There's lots of great action to come up, but this, this may, this this may like as well be grand finals, right? These are both champions. Oh of, yeah. Of of tournaments of you know similar size, so I'm it's really gonna curious be a good to see one. how this it's match gonna is going to go. I mean, every time that we've seen them clash in the past, it's been lightning, absolute lightning, lightning, lightning. All right, here we go. Players are banning. Uh, Iram picking out four stages. Now Stardust gets to choose from the remaining three stages. Looks like he went with Small Black Guard Keep. All right, here we go. The first match on stream of the Summer Championship. Let's have some fun. Here we go, EU 1v1, Stardust versus Eram, Small Blackguard Keep. How do you think this one's going to play out? What's the main thing that Eram's going to be looking to do in this match? Okay, Eram, Eram, uh, Eram can be very aggressive with a sword. Um, and that's going to play That's gonna play pretty interestingly with Stardust Brin. He's, uh, he's, he's a very efficient Brin, right? right. Especially Brin, a very high-speed character, right? That's so right, yeah. It's going to be tough to track down. And especially with the range that the axe and the spear give you, and I know Eram loves playing guitars. He's a longtime player of guitars. <laughs> that's right. He's been picking oh. up the sword. His Asuri's a monster, and that's why we're seeing this damage deficit. Yeah, the damage deficit's already there. Eram with a solid early lead, and Stardust, look, at he's going to have to reverse this. He'll have no problem doing so, especially once he gets off the edge. Just wait till you see the spear dare action from Stardust. Oh, Eram already off, got him off the edge. Can Man, he make it back? Like Aram's gonna take this early stock. That's yes. it. Aram already one stock ahead. One minute, one stock. He's only in the yellow. He's got. He's he is doing great right Looking now. Looking incredibly strong. I like that last minute toss up. It was a quick denial. You know, Stardust obviously wanted to pick up that weapon. Usually you guard the weapon, but Aram went for a little bit of the mix up. Scored a bit of damage early on. Good point. Good point. Okay, here we go. Stardust. He's Stardust just trying to find an opening here. He's got to be safe. Right, he is already a full stock down. Doing good so far, he's getting some hits in. Yeah, working with those large, wide axe swings. It does a fair amount of damage. It's, you know, not as heavy of a weapon as the hammer, but certainly packs a wallop. That's right, yeah, you can see he's kind of covering a zone with his axe. Um, and that's something you just got to do against a player like Aram on sword right now. Uh, Aram can be very direct with his attacks. Stardust. Just trying to hit an area he thinks Aram is going to be in. Ooh. Never mind. I take it back. He is direct. He is going in. He's getting the Axe Cider. He evened it up. He's only in yellow. Great job by Stardust to even things up. Yeah, that was an excellent stock. Very clean. Now, I'm curious to see what Aram's going to do. You know, he's starting to get a feel for this spacing, right? He's seen Stardust, how he wants to play this, how he wants to keep that range. I'm expecting some guitar strings coming in here. Ooh, <laughs> just missed that neutral air. That could have continued into some serious damage. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's see, Stardust. If he can get hit. Aram, Aram's getting some damage in right now. This is good. This is good for Aram. Yeah, I mean, that guitar neutral, it's very quick. It covers uh, pretty much 360 degrees around you. That's right. But the damage is a little bit low, just because it is such a versatile attack. Yeah, well said, well said. Nice recovery from Aram's got Stardust already in the red. Another Ooh, one into the sky. Enough. It's not enough to kill him. Stardust 
still playing catch up on the damage, right? He's just trying to keep up with yep. Aram here. Let's see if Aram can get a kill on the edge guard here. Start a side airs his way right back on. And wow. that's it. Aram returns fire. He gets him off the side. Good you kill. know what? That was really smart play by Aram there. He he had such a damage lead that he wasn't hunting off stage to take out Stardust. <laughs> he knew Good that point. against the axe, that was going to be a little too risky. And why why should he have to go for that risk right there? Yeah, you're absolutely you know, right. Aaron just playing, secure the edge guard. Playing the smart, stage. playing smart. Stardust got him off the edge already. Well, Aram's in the red here, but he can hold on to red quite a bit, right? He's oh, near yeah. death, but that shouldn't be a problem for Aram. We, we've seen him extend stocks before, get That's a right. ton of damage before going down himself. Nice! What a sweet combo! Did you see that? He was going for the dodge read, and Stardust wasn't dodging. They were kind of stalemated in the air. Wow, what a kill! Side sig Caught with from the, just the edge, that spacing. Nice. Stardust, so good. All right, yeah, down there, side. He's got Stardust off the edge. Can Stardust make it back? Aram's just gonna let him back, he no does. problem. He wants him on the stage. And again, it was that same mentality that we were seeing before. You know, the axe yeah. can be very dangerous off stage. It's got the down air, it's ground pound can send you down. Even it's recovery can spike you downwards if you catch it at the right spot. Yeah, it's just not something he needs to contest right now. Let him back onto the stage, get the damage he needs. It's This looks like a repeat of the last stock. Oh, see yeah, if Aram just looking can seal to the deal clean here. It out. All he needs is that one attack. Oh no! Stardust is starting something off. He's reversed the positions. Oh, this could be it. Nope. Let's see if Stardust can make it back. Aram? No, that. Oh, oh just made it! What a he move. made the touch! What a move. That's not oh. enough, though. Aram side airs him right off. Good kill. Good kill. Good match. First wow. game goes to Aram. It's 1 0 in this best of three set. Oh, and man. Uh, that's gonna mean Stardust gets to ban out four stages now. Let's see what he picks. Great Hall, Twilight Grove. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stardust Black changing Grove. over to Nash? Oh, Am I interesting. That right? Interesting. Now, we've seen him play Nash before in past tournaments. Um, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he, he kind of fills the same role as Brynn as far as right. the spear it's, goes. It's pretty high it's speed fast. spear. Right. It's a high speed spear. Three, that's what he two. wants. Um, he's just oh. trading out the axe for the hammer. <laughs> but he's always been a good hammer player since the beginning of closed beta uh, three years ago, two and a half years ago now. Uh, he's always been a solid hammer player. Oh, so yeah. we haven't seen him play Ooh. a lot of hammer recently, oh my but I gosh. think he's going to fall back on previous hammer experience and use the fast spear to get the kill. I mean, unless he falls to Eram's guitars right now, he is <laughs> yeah. taking a ton of damage. Let's see, once again, Stardust trying to get back on stage. Aram's just gonna let him back on stage because he would rather fight him on stage with these guitars. Throws the guitars, he's got scored now. Let's see what he can do with the sword. Stardust still, I, I'm i pretty sure Stardust is looking for looking for a spear right now. Uh, I feel like his hammer is his finisher and he just hasn't had a chance yet to grab a new weapon. Right, I mean, that is the commonality between the Whoa. characters that he's played in this set so far. He's looking for that spear. That's, uh -oh, that is he can't, he can't grab it. Aram's oh. doing a great job of denying him the spear that Stardust is looking for. This could be it. No, again, oh Aram gosh. keeping him out. Okay, all right, Stardust has his weapon. Now let's see what kind of damage he can do. He's already in the red. A lot to come back from, but uh, he can even it up pretty quickly. That's it. Ooh. Damage is even. Can Stardust get the edge guard or will Aram make it back? Aram's on the wall now. He's got his jumps back. Pressuring that corner. No, spear but so deadly there. Catches him on the corner. Nice side air. And that's the thing, you know, you can use the side air to kind of pressure that corner, and if they try and go high to get around it, the recovery will just cover that entire space. Oh, did, oh. did you see that? Haymaker coming out from Aram. That was a huge, that was a huge reaction, right? Stardust, uh, he committed to that ground pound, right? Oh, yeah. Aram, man. That was a great punish by Aram. He tried to do it again, maybe getting a little greedy with the unarmed haymakers. Well, you know, it's very <laughs> satisfying to land. He hit him with that first one. It is. Yeah. Wow, Stardust turned this around. He he was, you know, Aram had a solid lead yeah. early oh, on yeah. in this match. Uh, we're two minutes in now, and Stardust has taken the first stock, but he's pretty damaged himself. Let's see what kind of damage lead Stardust can get before he goes down the stock. That's one. That's one. Every little hit counts here. He's playing safe. He just, he just wants to get some hits in before he dies. Yep, that's uh -oh. what it's all about. If you've got an advantage, you need to keep pressing it throughout the entire match. There it is. Okay, Aram, Aram evened it up pretty quickly. I think that damage, yeah, that damage lead he got is negligible. Light yellow. Yeah, no problem. No problem for Aram here. It's basically an even match now. 
five minutes and 30 seconds remain. Stardust is weaponless, and Harold's not letting him back onto no. the stage to get a oh, weapon. Oh, there are the exclamation oh. marks. He, he may have been able to wait just a little bit longer, and Stardust would have just ran out of options yeah, and had to come because up. Because if you get to those three exclamation marks, your jumps no longer renew on the wall. That's right. So he was running out of time. He then. had no other recovery options left. That was about the latest he could come back onto the stage. Oh, yeah. You can bet they were both mm. counting. Okay. Aram, ooh. Aram just barely avoiding these siders from Stardust. They are damaging. They are damaging and they hit you far. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you don't want to go off edge against uh, Aram's guitars. It'd be very dangerous. I mean, guitars, they're an incredible gimping weapon, right? They can kill you at very low damage values That's right. off the stage. And Eram is a master of Qatar. That's right. Oh, and this oh. might be it. It looks like we're going to see it. Oh, oh the Stardust. reversal. He reversed it. What a... That could have been it. He was he was so close to death there. Luckily, he got that hammer recovery to reverse things. My heart was stopping my throat. I thought that was going to be the stop. That could have been it. Wow, he chased Ooh. him down. What? You don't see people charging that thing all the way very often. No. Aram, and that was the best time to do it. Aram read the dodge back. He completely dodged back. And Aram just didn't stop. He, didn't, he, didn't, he had the perfect amount of distance here to prevent it from happening. OK, yeah. Aram is waiting. All right, yeah, trying to he react. does have the lead right now. That's right. So he, he can kind of work this. He's up just about a full stock, although Stardust is quickly closing that gap. Nice neutral there from Stardust. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. Stardust <laughs> trying to find his way back onto He's, the stage, but Eram yeah. is so good at just pressuring him. That's happening a lot in this match, where Stardust is caught off the side and Aram is guarding the corner and just won't let him back on. Stardust, he's right to be cautious. Uh, Aram's yeah. gonna punish him if he comes up carelessly. Yeah, he is just monitoring that space. Wow, Aram doing great so far. Oh, bonked uh -oh. his head there. Okay, he made it back. He's safe. That was close, though. That's dangerous. When you jump into the ceiling like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's easy. It gives a moment for your die. opponent to see that and capitalize. These so they just drop down. All they need is that one hit right there. <laughs> That's right. Wow, died sick. Aram had the space. Ooh. Wow, did you see him? Did you see him follow his movement? That there? was great. That's so risky, especially against the spear with their neutral air, right? Uh, they've got a very close hitbox to themselves with a neutral air. And to babysit them like that and just carry on up with their momentum. Aram's doing great right now. Nice dodge. Punishes oh them with a down gosh. air. It falls into another down light. Oh my goodness. Aram's looking hot right now. He is completely dominating this match. Yeah, and I mean, you know, even if he gets knocked out here by Stardust... Wow! He, oh oh my did you see gosh. that? He, he, he pivoted his signature, his side signature, off Ooh. the platform. He reversed it as he fell, used the, mo used the, the momentum he had to slot, sliding as he started his move. That's, that's incredible. That's oh a very gosh. hard move to pull off. Absolutely amazing. What a play. What a play. What a play. That was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, and, and I think I we're going to get got a, a look replay at it here. of that. Oh my goodness. We've look got at this a replay. Guitar play sends gentlemen. him off the side. Here we go. And you know, we were talking about this him just following Stardust dodges, always being very present. That move. There it is. That is such a good move, Aram. Wow. That was slick. That was, that was slick. very slick. That was slick. Awesome play. By Aram. Oh, what a match. What a what a match to start off with. That was good. Yeah, because we are here. This is the summer championship for Brawlhalla. The last double S tier tournament before the world championship later this year. Last double S tier online, online tournament. Online tournament, because we've got Shine coming up later on in that uh, is August. True. It's gonna be so a good this one. is a standard 1v1 tournament format for today. 2v2 is going to be tomorrow. Two opponents will be entering and they fight each other in a best of three. That's right. So they best of they three. play. Whoever wins the first two matches, that's who's moving on in the bracket. Aram got two in a row. Stardust goes down to loser's bracket. He's not out yet. It's a double elimination tournament. Yep. So he has got a chance to make it back up. We'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, coming up next, I believe we've got Corsation. Ooh. The man Corsation. Been seeing a lot uh, of him yeah, lately. Yeah, he, he won the last European tournament, actually. Oh, he man. just straight up won it. Monster. Against Dobrian in grand finals. Wow. It was... So don't, don't sleep on Corsation. He is now one yeah. of the best players. I know it's he's he's kind of fresh blood out there, right? But he's already right. one of the best, um, and he's gonna have to prove it now because he's up against Reason Gaming's Addy Mestic. Yo, Addy Mestic. Addy Mestic is uh, 
is a power monster. Up. Yeah, absolute monster. He's uh, he made top eight at Combo Breaker. That was a land yep. that happened recently. Primarily using the the, the gauntlets there, right? <laughs> yeah, I love watching. Yeah, he's he is he is he could be the best European gauntlets player in the game. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I think that's it's, you know it's that's subjective, but. Uh, my opinion I mean, sways I feel that like he's way. Proved I've seen that it with the results. Exactly. I've seen it so many times. Uh, such a solid, solid gauntlets player that, you know, he's he's definitely capable. Yeah. Uh, it looks like our players are ready, so let's get into it. As soon, All right. as soon as they're ready, we're ready. Let's let's do this. Uh Corsation on Hatori, that's nothing new. He's so, he's played Hatori since he started through any yep. buffs and nerfs, doesn't matter. One of the earlier characters, with those characters, high speed, high dexterity, so a lot of very quick attacks using the spear and the sword. Right, right. And Addy Messick on Val, also nothing new, right? Yeah. Uh, we see in him, he played Val at Combo Breaker basically yep. exclusively. As we were saying, again, another high speed character using the gauntlets, which Addy Messick is very known for, and the sword as well. Interesting uh, note here that Corsation took away one of his. One of his eight speeds, at seven speed now on a Tori, in favor of getting one extra defense. Uh, yeah, yeah, it kind of balances out. He's using that, that defense stance to balance out his character a little bit. You know, Hattori's very low defense character, high speed. So. I understand, because, you know, Gauntlets, they can do a lot of damage. As yeah. we saw, Addy Mestic getting just a couple attacks in there, and Corsation already being in the orange. That's right, yeah, probably a good move, picking up that one extra defense. It might save him in the match, we'll find out. Okay, Adamestic already solid in the lead. Wow, he went for a hard read there with that pivot side sig. He wasn't even there yet. Yeah, I mean, Could've Val's worked, signatures, they hit very hard. So that, again, is why Corsation was worth probably the looking shot, for right? extra wow. defense. Neutral Ooh. light hit the side sig? That was kind of crazy. Corsation showing us how to play here. This could be oh it. Oh my gosh. Is Corsation about to Oh my oh. gosh, what a play. He's done, he's what done. What a play off the edge. He can't make it back. What a, what a play. Corsation, wow. less than a minute in, gets a kill on the Addy Mestic. Nice. That was absolute dominance <laughs> on the side of the stage. That was sick. That was sick. Corsation, I don't know if I've ever man. seen the spear used quite that way. It's usually, you know, playing for the range, right? Right. But there, right. it was just a string of attacks sending him downwards. Man, Corsation's really something else. Let's see. He's already putting out some damage. He's already getting a damage lead. He can die now, and he's he, he'd be okay. But he's not going to die yet. Never mind. Ooh. Never mind. Corsation's there out. Nice is. kill there by Addy Mystic off the top. Got, got to fix your face a little bit. That's you know, yeah. even stocks now. I take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Here we go. Addy Mystic, though, he is nearing the orange. But, you know, we, we saw he's, it at the start of the match. He's very good at putting on these strings, building yeah. up the damage very quickly. He's already evening it up. Got Corsation off the side now. Corsation makes it back to the stage. No problem. No so problem. Between these two players, I think this is going to be a very volatile matchup of one pouring on damage and then the other answering right back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's exciting. Glad to see it. Corsation now. He's got his trusty spear. Whoa! Whoa! Nice Whoa. use of that side sig. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah. for those of you who don't know, that side sick. It works. It's pretty special how it works, right? Yep. Because he didn't land on the ground after the first hop that it does, he just fell right off the corner and slashed diagonally. Yep. Uh, he that required perfect spacing and, of course, excellent timing. And he messed against the kill as a result. I mean, what a what a play, especially after being uh, after trying to catch up, right? He was he was uh, Corsation was in the lead. So great time to yeah. pull that out. Corsation Ooh, evens it up though, yeah. Just like you said, he's answering lots of quick answers back over here. And Corsation, he's only in the yellow. Alternating who is in the yellow <laughs> each stock. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see now. The last stock though, this is what really matters. And Corsation, he's got a bit to go. He's, oh. he's behind. We'll see if he can catch up here. He's doing a great job! Oh my, oh my goodness, what a sweet string. That was nice. Okay. I think we saw more Addy Mystic going for a lot of those signatures. He wants to secure this kill early. Ooh, Look yeah. at him. He's trying. He He's wants got, that side yeah, signature. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he doesn't want Corsation to catch up. But Corsation is catching up. Nice oh, read. Oh, my go. goodness. He let him Forces fall. Forces him wide. Rearms with the sword. It's crazy how the meta of dodge reads is evolving as these players get better and better at the game. It's to the point where, you know, normally anybody would have just followed up on that attack. Yep. Anybody would have dodged out immediately and, you know, and they'd be back to neutral. These guys are so Whoa. aware of, oh, this could be it. That's Forces it. Forces out the dodge with the weapon throw and Addy follows Mestic. up with the gauntlets. Beautiful. Addy Mestic, side air off the edge. That was a great play. 
Oh, man. That puts him up one. I, he was behind most of that match, yeah, especially I, at the start. I, I do wonder how uh, QS, are, th are there any adaptations that he's going to want to make here? Are there any that you're expecting? Because uh, that match I, was so close I don't know for the entirety of it. I don't know what you can do against Andy Mestic, to be honest. Um, he needs to do more of what he did in that first stock when he was crushing it, as opposed okay, to the last right. stock where he got whomped by Adam Mestic. <laughs> uh, it looked so like the he spear, had a lot of those, those spear strings. He he got a lot of the sword right. strings, actually. He was finding a lot of success with that sword down air. And uh, a couple oh, good point. Good point. There. The, I, I feel that Corsation has the advantage when he has a spear in this matchup. Um, not because of Val, not because of weapons or anything, but purely as players... Corsation seems to get a lot more damage off on Addy Mestic mm. with the spear than he does on Sword, especially with the neutral. He's chaining these neutralites in such a unique Dude. way. Oh yeah, that into that side oh. signature. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah, that was that's that's. I don't think I've ever seen that. That was insane. So, uh, wow, nice unarmed plays by Corsation there. Good Getting position. some of that early damage. Okay. And there it is. I, I like seeing that. You know, he hit that neutral light, and Corsation, this time in this match, he didn't go for any follow up. He was watching for it. He didn't even attempt to go for anything. He didn't try and back off. He just <laughs> was gathering information. He's, yeah, he, exactly. Exactly. He's surveying right now. Oh my he's, gosh. he's programming in. Uh, he's he's calibrating. That's, that's what's happening. Corsation is calibrating. Whoa! Watch out! There it is. Oh my goodness! Sequence initiated. <laughs> he knows Down where you're going to be. Complete. Uh, what a play. Okay, both of these guys pretty damaged now. Addy Mestic though, he's a bit behind off the Ooh. edge now. Can Corsation get the edge guard? No, Addy Mestic wow. makes it back on with a side air. And that's the thing, you know, gauntlets they do have built-in movement with that that's side air. <gasps> nice side sig. And he, messed it. he was looking for that attack all last game, finally finding pay dirt. <laughs> he kept digging. He kept digging. <laughs> and he got and, You know, just pulled up a nice side sink. <laughs> Beautiful. There's a stock. Here we go, and Addy Mystic again putting on a clinic with these gauntlets. That's right, yeah. And Even just know. the pressure that he's putting, you know, he's denying so much space from Corsation, it feels like he, he doesn't have a lot of room to move around. Yeah, I'd agree oh that. What a side gosh. sig! That, that was... Addy Mestic is something else, I tell you. This is this is incredible. Okay, Corsation can't. Corsation get the kill! Nice! With the, wow. the top... He, I don't think that would have killed any lower than Addy Mestic's position was, right? It worked right. well at that point because Corsation... Was, because, because Addy Mestic was so high in the air when he landed it. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I mean, good move choice. That, that's why it's always so dangerous to recover that high. Because one time recovery or neutral air, and that'll be it. Is that Corsation playing? He's pretty careful right now, right? He's in the red, and <laughs> that was a nice reversal. Look at that. He's dealing the damage right now. He hasn't gotten hit in so long. What a down wow. sig! Oh my goodness, he stepped back at the start of that sig, avoided the attack, completed it, got a good heal, and he's basically evened up the damage now. Corsation was, was in danger of losing a stock so long ago, uh, still hasn't lost it, and has basically evened up the damage. Interesting. All right, and I, I, I imagine that's got to be the adjustment that he needed, right? It was yeah. kind of this shuffle uh -oh. back and forth of who was in the lead. Uh oh, oh, Eddie Messick makes it back! That wow. was, that Corsation is going for the edge guard. Yes. Nice. He is getting some mileage out of that down scene. You know, He's using it's it got that backflip at the start. It's really great at dodging out of the way of incoming attacks and then punishing them. He's, he's got a good grasp of it, that's for sure. Nice sword play coming out from Corsation, building up a little more damage on Addy Messi. Addy Messi, like you said, the quick answer back. That was, that was a great read, really, on the play of this tournament. Good, good read, TWK. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these guys playing exactly as you predicted. They're, the, it's a volatile match, and there are very quick answers. Uh, so here we are, one stock each, Pretty but if Addy Mestic wins this, it's over, right? Best of three. He's yep. already won one. Corsation's got to win two in a row to make it back from this. Wow, oh comboed up gosh. the... Oh, <laughs> he almost connected the rest of that. That would have been incredible. Good, good that string, was though, nonetheless. That was a great attempt. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You got a little bit of extra <laughs> damage from the weapon throw and the possible follow-up. That was cool. That was cool. Okay, Addy Messick off the side. See if Corsation can keep him there. Ooh, Ooh, went for the neutral sig, but Addy Messick stayed grounded. Smart. Here we go. Pressuring again on that corner. Addy, Addy Messick not getting caught by the down signature this time. Yeah. He knows that backflip's coming. 
Both players in the red now. Corsation just needs one solid hit to clean things up. Addy Messick still a little bit behind. This is it. He's off the side. Can Corsation seal it off here? Seal the deal. Man, with these on. fast sword characters <laughs> against each other at high damage. This is so nerve-wracking. <laughs> Any hit could be the last. That's right. Okay, Addy Messick now with his gauntlets in. He's uh, he's a force to be reckoned with with his gauntlets, like we said. Whoa! Wow! Just barely avoided death from that side sick. Corsation's no, trying right to hold near on. That back explosion. This could be it. Oh, he just barely Whoa! makes this neutral sing. Corsation brings it back. It's one yes. to one. Evened oh it up. Gosh. Corsation, what a move. What a jeez. Jeez. All right. That's one to one now. These players are on their last round of the match. Yep, locking in. Nobody's the same legend. Yeah, nobody's changed anything. Are, They're are just we gonna running go it back, back to Mammoth Fortress. Well, let's see what Eddie Mystic bans out up? here. Uh, he banned out Blackguard, which was actually his first choice last time. Yeah, so he's gonna leave uh, Corsation with three stages to pick from, right? That's right, and it looks like going to Small Mammoth. All right, it is a popular pick, you know? It's, it it's a very a stable pick. map. It's got, like, medium-sized walls. It's it's just nice and flat. Nice it's the one and open neutral. area. Very neutral Yep, map. very neutral stage. Three, okay, here two, we go. The one, final one. game in this match. Addy Mestic versus Corsation. One to one. Here we go. Damage. All right, already going back and forth and it's remained even. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. And now I like the mix-up that we're seeing. Corsation, once he lands those neutral lights, now he's trying to test different follow-ups. You see him dodging, you see him jumping. He's looking for all the different avenues. Yeah, well, uh, good observation. You know, something I just realized, both of these players have also won Brahala Circuit Tournament. Oh my god. These, uh, we're, we see, wow! That oh! was so early! 30 second kill from Addy Mystic! Unbelievable! What a play! Uh, that's that's why you gotta watch out. Yeah. Death from above, those ground pounds hit like a truck. You know he is loving that. You know he's loving that early stock. Uh, that, that really helps in terms of a, a player's mentality during a match, right? When you get that early of a lead, it's like, okay. I got this. Oh yeah. Uh, I and, mean, and Addy Mestic can you want work that with buffer, the especially after it's been tied up one-one. You know they both have to be feeling the pressure because you don't have any games to give. That, that's right. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Goes for the ground pound. <gasps> wow, Addy Mestic oh. opted for the recovery there. I was really expecting the neutral air to try and go for the edge guard. A little bit faster. Uh, news, yeah, knocks him back down. Great for edge guards. Yeah, I guess he, oh, he wasn't confident in just ending it. Because he was pretty high damage, so he didn't want to risk just dropping it. He wanted the guaranteed extra damage. Right, so it looks like Corsation's even things up now, but he is pretty far away uh, from having a lead here. Addy Mestic, well, well in the lead. We'll see if he can, if he can close this stock out soon enough he'll be in a great position to win the rest of this match. Yeah, Addy Mestic finally arming up with the sword. We'll oh. see if he can do just that. Nice, Corsation. Oh, he wow. just kind of stood there. He was, he was, he looking, was looking for the for dodge. Read. Yeah, yeah, yep. exactly. He was, and that's what I was talking about with that this dodge read meta. Sometimes it's like, just attacking will work. Well, that's, because that's people the triangle, are so, right? Yeah, exactly. I hit you, you're going to dodge, so I wait for the dodge, but if I wait for the dodge, just smack me. You can attack, yeah. Ooh, nice just kill like by that, Addy smack Mestic. him off the edge. This is good for Addy Mestic. He's only in the orange. He's got an extra stock up on Corsation. This might be, that that kill might be what uh, gives Addy Mestic the win here. We'll see if he can seal it up. Or what Corsation could do. I mean, don't put it past Corsation to make it back from this. I mean, he scored, he was the first one to score that amazing kill at the beginning of this set, and then the the final one of the last game with that neutral signature. Right. So his spear is incredibly dangerous, but he shifted over the sword, he likes this mirror match. Addy Mestic off the side, he gets in! Chase dodge recovery, canceled out, that was, whoa! Ooh. Whoa, was that a pivot gravity cancel down sig? That was yep. kinda, that was the craziest move we've seen. Uh, just the craziest single maneuver so far in the Summer Championship. <laughs> Good move. He got a kill with it. That was awesome. All right, Corsation off the edge. This could be it for Addy Mestic. See if he can get the edge guard. Corsation mixes it up, makes it back. No problem. But he's in trouble. Oh, my god! One more of those will win it. Oh, man. It, it'll be... It must be so difficult to be in this position right now where Corsation is. 
Can he make it back? Well, with every this? small movement, Addy Mestic is just pouring on the damage. Each one getting him that closer to the knockout. It, it would be so ridiculous at this point for Corsation to make it back from this. Uh, it, it would it, it would be the most impressive comeback that we've Let's seen see. in a long oh, time. No, Addy Mestic him right through the soft platform. Closes it out. Addy Mestic wins the match two to one. Moves on to top 16 now. He's in top 16 wow. of the Summer Championship. Corsation's going down the loser bracket, but like we said before, it's not over for him. Uh, no problem. Oh, we got a replay. We've got a replay. Here we go. Let's see the last bit go. of that This match. is that final KO that Addy Mestic got. Just look at the spacing. Just threatening him off the edge, following him with his jumps, striking at the right time. Nice. Good play. Good play. Absolutely oh my beautiful. goodness. That what was a match. Intense. That was intense. That was, you know, Corsage, he didn't make it, but he still did well. Uh, Addy he Mestic, was a constant back and forth. That entire set was so close. Yeah, Addy Mestic is, he's a tried and true champion. He's constantly in the top three of oh, yeah. any tournament. Uh, he's a monster. He's a monster out there. Corsation, he's done well. He won the most recent European tournament. Um, oh, yeah. But. I'm not sure how many times he's really had to play against Addy Mastic either. Uh, I don't know. That's we'll a tough match no matter through, how you slice it. back through the, uh, the lower bracket. Right. We'll see and what happens. You know what? Let, let's take a look at those. Let's see what we've got We've got the brackets. We've got the brackets right here. Here's top 32 and a bunch of, you know, the two players we've already watched moving into top 16 now. Stardust uh, versus Aram coming up. Over Ooh, there, uh, yep, Corsation. That, that was the first match that we saw. We right, just watched right. Corsation versus Addy Mastic. And then right below that, Oh my god, are you telling yes. me we were in top 16 and now Stardust, I mean, uh, Aram has moved on to top 8? Yeah. And Addy Messick has moved on to top 8? That is what those matches They're are showing. They're already in top 8. That's incredible. And I, so I've we'll... gotten word that the next match that we're going to be seeing, it's Dobrain as you see him there, and they just moved in Daiku oh. as his opponent. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's incredible. Uh, that's a, this is, this is a sponsor battle. This is Team yeah. Enix versus Team Enix. Uh, oh my goodness, how, yeah, you know, it happens. Like, you know, they're, they are longtime sparring partners. They were longtime 2v2 partners. That's right, interesting point. Uh, they're not 2v2 partners anymore. Yeah. Not 2v2, some, 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 uh, well, they, they I don't have, know what you'd call it. <laughs> they parted, parted ways, ways in terms of competing, goes. but they're still teammates as far as their sponsors go. Right. Uh, and they do represent each other well. And as far as I can tell, there's no bad blood between them. Oh, uh, no, they still very not. friendly with each other and everything. So this is going to be an interesting match. It's pretty fun. This is the first oh, yeah. time they've squared oh, yeah. off in a, in a tournament, in a 1v1 tournament, uh, since they've split up as a yeah. team in 2 In a while, you know? So, it's... It, this this <laughs> used to be the the old days of the EU. This is it a was treat. Pretty much. Oh, what's going to be grand finals? Uh, Dobrain versus Daiku. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was maybe a year and a half ago when anybody would guess that. Oh, obviously Dobrain and Daiku. Now things have gotten pretty crazy, right? A lot oh, yeah. of different winners in different tournaments. It's a volatile scene right now in terms of who's going to win. Yeah, EU. Uh, everybody's been grinding. Everybody is hungry. Yeah. And oh so my goodness. Been Daiku the versus Dobrain. All right. Uh, I think the players are ready to go. So as soon as they're as soon as they're ready, we're ready, and that's it. We're off. Here we go. I love I love seeing these picks here. Dobrain, he absolutely loves the sight. He says it's the most fun weapon for him to play, yeah. and he he loves Mirage. He loves their signatures. He has fun with Spear, but Daiku. Going back to the Bodvar, this, this is, is Daiku classic. Yeah, this is that. This is Vanilla Daiku for sure, right here. Uh, this is this is closed. This is Alpha. Three. Daiku. This right is here. his we've, alter ego, Sword him. God, the Bodvar. Straw Look at this. Hat Exo coming into the mix. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see just... what he can do here. The hammer, you know, a lot oh, of people have been oh, saying really? it's a very is strong this weapon it? right oh, now. Oh my what? goodness! 15 what? second kill of Daiku! Oh got the kill already on the Dobrain! Holy cow! 15 seconds into the match and Daiku's already in the lead! That, that was, was absolutely insane! Holy moly! Awesome! All right, that's 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 special. Uh, nobody kills Daiku. I mean, nobody kills Dobrian in 15 seconds. That's nobody, right? That's yeah. oh, unbelievable. Yeah. I've never I've never even imagined that I would see that in my lifetime. Dobrian oh, trying to get a quick reversal. He's He's, I think we're gonna see some risky plays coming out of Joe Brain because he knows he has a lot of ground to make. What? Up. Uh, another? Two socks, less another? than a minute. Two socks, less than a minute. Daiku. 
This, this is Daiku Classic. This is Daiku Classic. The dominance is this classic. This is looking the like a closed beta classic. tournament where nobody oh beats Daiku. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. What a play. You know what? Um, that's. This is cool. You know, Daiku tweeted out before this tournament, uh, you'll see soon, is what he said. You'll see soon. <laughs> and, and boy, have we. Have we indeed. Uh, Daiku. If nothing else good comes on his from promise. this set, that is enough to talk about <laughs> for a long time coming. Nice reversal from Dobrian. He's got one stock on Daiku now, and he's already in the orange. Gonna be tough for him to come back from this. Now, don't put it past Dobrian. He's He can do it. If somebody can do it, it's gonna be Dobrian. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I mean, this is a guy. No oh, way. No. It's, he went a little too deep for that reversal kill there. Yeah, I mean, he recognized he was pretty far behind. He had to get some low damage KOs, <laughs> or else. Look, well, you look see at this, this replay. Look at this, this dominance is, this is a 15 from second kill. Ground pound. Oh, Another one. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That wow. was insane. What a match, what a replay, good replay. I love these instant replays. Um, <laughs> Daiku, huh? All wow. Right. Okay. So what are you, what are you expecting Let's, from Dobarian after I that? What has he got to be thinking? He's clear, I think he's definitely gonna switch things up. Uh, you can see now he's taking a little bit to choose his legend. Uh, Daiku, of course, has to lock in first because he won the previous round. And Dobarian is taking a little bit, he's he's thinking. He's trying to, he's trying to figure out what he's gonna play next. now. Uh, you know, as the rules state, he's got five minutes to figure things out. Maybe right. he's got a connection problem. Uh, you know, maybe somebody burst into his into his room while he was playing. Right. Or maybe something he like needs that. to wolf down you a know? sandwich, gain the power. <laughs> that, that is we've a common seen, thing. Yes, we've seen it before. <laughs> so it, it's uh, worked out for players in the past. I wonder. Oh, well, don't yeah. doubt the sandwich. He is definitely switching it up Ooh. here. Orion, this is a this is an interesting pick. I've. I've never seen Dobrian so play So he's Orion. keeping the spear that he had a Mirage, but shifting over to Lance. To Lance? I've never seen wow. Dobrian play a Lance. You know, a lot of people have been saying that Lance is really strong in the current meta. Huh. So I'm, I'm curious to see what Dobrain has been training up on the Lance. I guess we're about to find out. For him to pull Orion out against Daiku, especially after losing so quickly in the previous round, he must be confident in some new strat we haven't seen yet. Yeah, I mean, you know, Dobrain, he put out that tier list not too long ago, and he was just saying, Scythe, Gauntlet, Spear, those are the best. So I'm I'm really curious to see why he's favoring the Lance over the Scythe right now. Yeah, good point, good point. That was his own tier list. Well, let's see. Oh, he's, geez. I, I mean, can't get over that last 15 second kill. Right. I, it's still Daiku is some kind of monster. Oh, and he's he's still I mean, he's already in the lead. working out better for Dobrain already. But he's still pretty hefty on the damage loss here. Still, Daiku is just able to go. He's just doing what he wants. But I every mean, attack he goes for is working out. Daiku Dobrain's already used his dodge. Wow. wow, that was risky. He started with the dodge, so for three seconds there he had no ability to dodge, and you saw yeah, Daiku oh going for it. Oh my gosh, Daiku one minute kill. He's still rocking it very fast. All right, well Dobrain has managed to cut you know the KOs per minute in half. <laughs> True. <laughs> so let's see if this gives him enough time to adapt. Dobrain, definitely one of the more cerebral players. He spends a lot of time in training mode. He spends a lot of time talking and thinking about the game. That's right. Yeah, I, I would... Uh... I wouldn't be surprised uh, if, if uh, anybody would consider him the most uh, aware player of, of what's actually happening. Uh, he, he does so much analysis on his own plays, uh, he does analysis of other people's plays, he's, uh, he's, he, makes, he makes some of the most in-depth guides on YouTube, you know, every combo you need, every combo and string you need to know. Those, oh yeah, those those events. So uh, he's a very knowledgeable player. You're right. Oh, nice down sync. It's not enough to kill him. He really hasn't built up much damage on Daiku in all this time. Daiku, man. Ooh, nice there side. it is. That That's gonna score his first KO here. All right, all right. We're about we're at about one KO PM. One KO PM. <laughs> one knockout per minute. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Sounds about right. So so that means, uh, you know, Dobrain, you think he's going to make this uh, damage deficit up? He's going to hold on to this stock? He totally can, yeah. He, you can see he's playing much differently than he was in the first stock already. Ooh. Never mind. He couldn't make it up. Daiku with a quick kill. Stomp the cider. Daiku That's the saying, classic. no, no, no. Forget about this. We're ramping up the KOPS. <laughs> All right? It's not enough. KOPM must go higher. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. 
Daiku, you know what we've been seeing a lot of the time? He is just outside the range of attack. So he has yeah. almost no distance left to close before he can swing an what attack of his own. Awesome string from da uh, Daiku just then. That was pretty cool. You're, uh, you're absolutely right. His spacing is immaculate right now. Oh, but Dorian ooh, taking ooh. good advantage. Uh -oh. Daiku uh -oh. just returned. Uh -oh. Oh, oh my god! The classic! <laughs> the classic! That's Beta Daiku. He's so here. Down it. Down Congratulations, down Exo, for winning your, your first top 32 match. Unbelievable. What a oh play. My gosh. That was absolutely incredible. Ooh. Daiku came out with such Ooh. a strong showing. I expected different. Um, not to say that I thought the win. I thought that set was going to be a lot closer, for exactly. sure. Exactly. I mean, it should have been. All all evidence previous to this says that it would be. We've got we've got the last kill oh here. Let's gosh. check it out. Oh man. <laughs> Daiku. Here you go. Watch this. He really came out today. Oh my god. Entering goodness. the classic. Because Dobrain gets this string, goes for the edge guard, but yeah, no, but just the turnaround. Unbelievable reversal. Every time Dobrain comes out like that and mm. and he does, right? He will extend himself oh, yeah. for a for a KO. Uh, Daiku Absolutely. took perfect advantage of it. I mean, he reversed that so well. A string of three perfect down airs. I, mean, I know it's he said simple. that we'll see. We'll see. We yes, certainly we, did. You will see soon. We did. We saw it. We saw it, Daiku. Oh um, man, that was incredible. What a match. Oh man, what a match. That was awesome. Oh uh, man. So we're here at the summer championship. If you're just tuning in, uh, it's the one v one European tournament, and. This tournament was actually brought to you by more than just Blue Mammoth Games this time. We've got a few. Oh, yeah. We've got a few sponsors, right? Uh, we've got Azio and Scepter. Oh man, these guys are great. Um, Azio, those wonderful keyboard and mice. Keyboards and mice, and Scepter with some of the best monitors. And this is not, this is not me uh, shilling out for an ad, right? Okay. Right, right. This is I truly believe Scepter has the the best monitor for its price. In terms of input delay, which us fighting game players care about the most. Oh right? yeah. 10.5 milliseconds of input delay. That's incredible. It's great spec. That and is they're crazy. very affordable monitors. They're extremely easy to set up. Uh, they're yeah, the that is the it's fastest for actual input delay. You know, that's that's not a stat that like most monitor companies put out. I don't the think delay that you does. see is gray to gray, just visual color. That's right. So everyone's like, oh, one MS, but that's not the actual input delay. That's not what we need to play. Like, I don't know. We're we're studying frame by frame here. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so Azio with their keyboards and mice, Scepter with their monitors. In fact, they're doing a giveaway. Ooh. Uh, so at the end of the stream, stay at the end of the stream, we'll be doing a giveaway uh, for a keyboard and mouse today. Wow. A Azio keyboard and mouse. We'll be going to one lucky viewer at the end of the stream. Doesn't yeah, matter where man. you are. From Russia, no problem. It's going to get to you. So yeah. anybody's eligible to win. It's going to be cool. Uh, uh, I, I play this game on controller, you know this, but you, you've been playing keyboard and you're I'm actually using keyboard. one of the ASIOs. Yeah, right? I switched to the ASIO. I love it, actually. Man, those things I, are, I, I do want to pick up one of theirs, like, just for my home. They've got, like, these really cool retro style ones that look oh, like a typewriter. they look like a typewriter, yeah, yeah. like a steampunk kind I, of. I enjoy the aesthetics, you know, that's... <laughs> that's they they have is. a lot. It looks cool. They're solid. I use them now. I can attest to it. It's a really great keyboard. So on with the rest of the summer championship. We're still on the winner's side of top 32. And up next, we've got Zaloxery of Burrito Esports versus TB. And TB, you know, TB wasn't too long ago that he won his first Brawlhalla Circuit Tournament. Yeah. Uh, man, you know, He's that's... He's been a top player for a long time, but we've he wasn't got... able to secure a tournament until lately. We, we've we watched so many tournament winners square off against each other. <laughs> this this is the who's who. And this, you know, is, this you is, know, is to make it into top eight. This is, that's this right. is what's going on That's here. right, yeah, yeah. And top eight is going to be all people who've won a European tournament before. I bet. I bet we'll get there. Well, we'll see. Uh, it could be, you know, I don't think Zaloxery's won a European circuit tournament this year. He always no. makes it into top eight, though. Oh, yeah. He's basically, yeah, top eight, maybe top 12. Me. He's consistently on the top. He's the upper echelons of Brawlhalla EU, no doubt. Uh, and he plays pretty unorthodox character, right? He plays Ember yeah. that we don't see a lot of. And despite any changes in the game, he only plays Ember. Now, he, he just really likes her. I you bet know, he played something loyalty. different this time. Ah, there he goes. See? Oh! <laughs> all right. Roland's his, his secondary. I know. I always yep. I said so he this... always plays Ember. He actually does switch to Roland. Like, yeah, well, I mean, that was always the classic, right? His, his stream that, that he always <laughs> ran, it had two overlays. 
That's right. It would either be an Ember or the Roland. <laughs> like, the Roland was the original first one that he made, because, you know, he's from the UK, and he just feels like the knight is the right thing to do. That makes sense. It, it makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, TB versus Luxury. This is going to be a great match. Uh, I'm really excited to see what happens here. Both of these players, you know, just a quick note, both of these players are so awesome in person. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're just oh really, gosh. I would consider both of these guys close friends. Um, and they, I, lo I love always hanging do. out with Luxury. <laughs> we got to hang out with TB for the first time at CEO Dreamland. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, the lands the are nicest great. guys. We did a bunch of escape rooms together. Those are really fun. <laughs> But I'm wondering who's going to be able to escape this set. Who's Luxury gonna be with that able high armor. I, I might have to give it to him. I don't know. I, TB is so good, though. We'll see. Maybe the character matchups will come into play. You know, Zaloxery, he's so used to having little defense on Ember that when he switches to Roland and has that extra defense, yeah. he, he, he can use it well. All right, let's see what happens. This is going to be a good match. TV versus Zaloxery. Here we go. Summer Championship. This is top 16 right now. TB already with a good bit of damage onto Zaloxery, but you know you gotta account for the extra defense that Roland has, so you can't uh, you can't count on that extra damage too much. TB oh with a yep. weapon throw he almost chained it wow. into a Gauntlet or Gobi that'd have been cool. Zaloxery trying to find a weapon here, arms up with the sword. He's gonna be fighting against these Gauntlets here again. A gauntlets a powerhouse weapon we've seen them before. Nice. They have the ability to pour on a lot of damage very quick strings. He's got him in the deep, deep orange at this point. He's in gimping territory. Ooh. Nice down sick. Zaloxery. Oh man, he is wow. just, he's going for the kill. He's I mean, going he's for the kill. He's swinging at all that. the right Again, places. He did it. Every time he fires off an attack, TB is there. It's just whether TB is able to dodge it in time or not. He's really throwing out a lot of these signatures. They, they've been connecting. You can't blame him. One more should do the trick. Ooh. There it is. No, not TB's yet still enough. alive. He's got to he he's got to do a lot with his second chance at life here. TV uh, TV should be dead, but he's made it. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, the that's, gonna do that's it. enough to do it. Unarmed uppercut gets the kill. All right, now Zaloxery, he does have that high defense. So I, I think it's going to be a while before he goes down. Let's see what kind of damage he can get on in the meantime. All right. Zaloxery, damage damage is going out. He is getting a bit of a damage lead here. Already in yellow, he avoided the ground pound there and punished him for it. Well played. That's oh a risky gosh. place to be, especially Look against this. Gauntlet. Yes, Zaloxery. He is crushing it. Zaloxery. hit after hit. Maybe this is Zaloxery's tournament, right? We were just saying. Oh, oh what a... That was a nice oh, move. You rarely see gosh. that. You rarely see that. One of the most satisfying attacks to hit. You know, it, <laughs> it pretty much hits, like, just right on you and above you. Two stacks ahead now! Wow. Zaloxery's got a lead! This is this might be Zaloxery's tournament. This might be it. He hasn't... I don't think he's won a sort of Turk Circuit tournament this year. And his first one's gonna be the Summer Championship. Oh my god. And what Looking a tournament so to win! so strong! TB finding the first KO, but finally. he is so far behind right yeah, now. Yeah, he finally got a kill here, but he's he is more than a full stock behind. He'll have to do a lot to bring it back. He's there already doing it though. Shipping into Zaloxery's lead. Dip, dipping in, yeah, but you know, it's a it's a deep pool to dip. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep pool right now. Oh my goodness. Alright, Zaloxery. Trying to, he's making, he's getting a lot of mileage out of that down six. Sometimes it misses, but he hasn't been punished for it yet. No, absolutely. Oh, nice. there it is. Oh man, he is the Sig Master right now. He's doing so, throwing out so many signature moves and landing oh so many. Gosh. This could be it. That's nice. it. That's he it. No, he touched the wall. He can make it back. Oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness. That was close. Worked his way wide and around. Used that gauntlet side the air gauntlet to make it back to the wall. for movement. That was clever, man. That's what did it for him. Uh -oh. See, can TB get a kill Turning off of him? No, it's using his sliders. That's interesting. These are the only two weapons that have that kind of mo momentum behavior with a right. side air, right? And they're both using their side airs for movement, like a lot. Uh, oh man, <laughs> and it saved them both once already. Oh, wow. Zaloxery gets. Gets hit, he but brought he makes it around it. to the other side. That was a great time to go around the stage. This has been absolutely crazy. <laughs>
Good match. Oh, I, I feel like both of them should have been gone a long time ago. This was Zalatri was one on. hit away. I mean, he was so close to closing this out earlier. Nice neutral oh air. Oh gosh, that extra damage. He needs every little bit of damage he can get. Oh, nice. Zalatri. Oh my goodness. TB could bring this wow. back. He could possibly bring this back. I like Zalatri seeing Zalatri. You know, shot. he was fishing for those side airs. He wants to close this out. Yeah. Okay, I don't blame this, this could be, be it. Enough? Will TV be able to make it back? Yes, he does! Wow. Oh my goodness, and punishes the Luxury for trying to keep him away. TV's movement and recovery offstage has been nothing short of spectacular. Dude, just every oh, time man. he is able to weave through that minefield that Zaloxer is creating with these weapon tosses and ground pounds. He's, TV can bring this back. Oh no, that's no, it, that's it. Zaloxery seals it, he closes it out. Good match, 1-0 now for Zaloxery. Wow. Now, Zaloxery, you know, he started off looking at a three stock. Yeah, he was so far ahead. Um, you know, he ended up with the win, but not after TB really TV brought it back yeah. so well. Oh my gosh. So, you know, that insane we'll see now. He's got play. this new, TV's got this new momentum, but he switched characters. I wonder what that's going to mean Ooh. for him. Switch characters in a way where he doesn't even have one weapon overlapping. He changed Three, both of his two, weapons wow. now. Katars and Sword now on a Complete Suri. alteration, but the map, we're staying on Great Hall. This is very interesting. You don't interesting. really see this map that yeah, old. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, he. It, it's not, he didn't choose the map a second time, right? Right. Uh, so Loxery chose Great Hall the first time. TV's like, we're going back. He doesn't, he, he, he wants the run back. I don't care how much you like this stage. <laughs> we're, going, we're going back. I'm going uh, to claim He wants it the for run back own. and he wants to try it out with a different character. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Man, the Loxery I mean, did so TV's well that doing such time. a good job oh. denying weapons. And that's why he's got a bit of a damage lead, but the Loxery just pouring attack after attack. He doesn't care. He was happy to fight unarmed for a while. Yeah, good point. Good point. He is a beast with unarmed. He's not. He is not afraid. Uh, I would never approach anybody with <laughs> well, not not these guys, especially not TV. Right? That's crazy. Yeah, but Zaloxery like nice dodge. He's that was, not even that going for the up. weapon right now. He wants to stay in the fight. This is this is crazy. Oh, uh -oh. it's gonna cost him. That costed Ooh. him. That that may have costed him a stock there. The. Uh, Maybe a little overconfident with the uh, with the unarmed play there. Um, you know, it doesn't exactly matter what weapon you have in your hand when you get caught in that move. Oh, oh my goodness! Okay, that would have been TB almost got a turnaround. That there. was so <laughs> that was, dangerous. That was scary. So dangerous. TB oh, going nice. for another edge guard here. No, Zloxery just ducking around with the down air. These players, uh, they have such a good awareness of when their opponent has dodged uh, because they will do a different string that they know would not be true if their dodge was up. Yeah, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll do a more damaging combo Ooh. that's maybe less, wow. There's the side airs, okay. Loxer, you he know he was up. looking for those. He absolutely loves that attack. He threw it out all last game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Zaloxery now in orange. He's got he's got a good bit of damage to make up for here. Nice neutral sig from TV, putting Zaloxery even further away. There's a bit of a gap here. Oh my gosh! Can Zaloxery close this out? Oh man, he's he he wants this. This is to get into top eight here. All right, to oh, to yeah. lose now means you have to play. I don't know that I don't know for exactly what the number is off the top of my head, but something like three more matches than you would have had to play oh, yeah. if you stayed on the winner's side. Yeah, if you like, stay on the winner's side, you, you're, do you, not you can lose coast right, right on in as long as you make it through all you, these monsters. Yeah, yeah, you can lose after top eight, you know, and it won't be too bad, but losing here at top 16 turns your run into, into a marathon. Into a, that's a great, it's, that's yeah. a great analogy. Good, good <laughs> move, good call right there. Okay, TV seals it. He's already got a stock ahead. All right, this is He's exactly the, the positioning he was looking for. That's right. Yeah, this is basically the same place that they were in last stock. Because this this game is do or die for him. Like it, it is. Yeah, it is either TV down must to that lower this. bracket for a grueling rest of the tournament, or tie up the set right now and try for the third. Yeah, I mean, zalaxha has got to be so excited about the prospect of getting into top eight in the summer championship. Um, I can't remember how he did in the other seasonal. I don't remember him being in time. Oh Whoa! my god! Whoa! The reads from TV how many times. That are is we gonna not... downlight you. No, Look at that's this. again and again. That's incredible. He's punishing. He's punishing his down dodges. He's punishing his falls. Uh, that is not a true combo in any sense no. of the word, right? 
He just has such a good read on what Zaloxery is thinking. That's right yeah, now. he's actually just in his head. What a move. Ooh, but Zaloxery good again kill. finding good so kill. much mileage off of that down signature and just all of Roland's signatures in general. But he's in the red right now. TV can finish this so quickly. Zaloxery is gonna have to do a lot without getting hit. I mean, we saw to it get before, the kill right? Here. That first game, those first two kills came out very, very quickly. As long as he can just capture those moments, he can close out this set. Oh man, I am captivated in this. Zaloxery, you know, he's got high defense. So this is this is the time for his defense to shine, right? A kill that would normally kill even a Sori at this damage will not kill Roland because of all the extra defense he has. Right, and I mean, that's he's got to make it work. He's getting some damage in. He's got, got TV the right already in orange. He's finding the attacks. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Because Zaloxery, if Zaloxery wins this, he makes it to top eight. If TV wins this, we're going to game three. Oh man. And there it is. You saw that defense. Oh no. Oh no. Zaloxery going around again, manages to touch the other wall, rearms with the lance. Can he find the strikes that he needs? Oh, oh no! That's it! TV wow. gets the kill! Nice move! Where it's one to one now. Tie game. We're going to game three. Will Zaloxery change his character now? Or is he gonna stick mm. with Rolly? Oh, yes! There oh there he is. is! He loses once, he switches to Ember. This is how he's gonna reverse it. Okay. Wow. Let's see how he does with this. Look Only that. he's going he went for the from extra speed on Ember. Too. That's that's crazy, right? Normally anybody would pick the defense stat because Ember's only got three defense. Oh um, yeah, she gets knocked especially out. Especially so after coming from his the last character he played has the most defense in the game, and now he switched to a character whom has the least defense in the game. That's a that's a tough transition to make. I guess he figured you know the game that he won. He just didn't get hit. You don't need defense if you, <laughs> you don't, don't get hit, right? Three, two, <laughs> Good point. One. May as Good well point. put that in some of that extra speed. Let's see. I mean, speed speed is the difference between living and dying met a lot of the times. Um, you know, it just depends on how you use your character. Let's see what happens here. I think I think maybe it had something to do with the Katars. Ooh, Zaloxery is still a dodging guy. down. Yeah, and T yep, TB's going to keep punishing it until Zaloxery changes his game plan. Maybe he's going for the meta read. Maybe he's like, TB surely will believe that I'm not going to dodge down now. So I will throw a dodge down. Surely he can't expect me to dodge down <laughs> five times in a row. I mean, that's, that's, that's where the mind games really start. No, you see that in, in plenty of different games, right? Oh, it's yeah. Str Street Fighter throws, you yep. know, that it's always a mind game. You don't th who's going to throw four times in a row? Even, well, even just some you know, rock, will. paper, scissors. <laughs> Anything that has two people thinking against each good, other. Good point, yeah. You have there, that There's notion. no way he'll throw paper three times in a row. Right. <laughs> that would be madness. <laughs> <laughs> but Zalaxry, yep, he keeps throwing out paper, no problem. Good damage from Zalaxry here. This is a close match, but Zalaxry, you know, not only... Oh, that's it. Ooh. That's it. I don't think Roland would have died with that kill. With no, that hit. no. <laughs> you know, but I Zalaxry, keep bringing you know, up the defense. It may not be as important as we're making it out to be, but it's 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 obviously noticeable. That, you know, yeah, that's I why mean, we, well, it's that, easy to that make that That is Ember in a nutshell, right? High risk, high reward. That's right. Oh, because nice. That, oh, there it is. That's, that's it. gonna close it out. Dead even stocks. Oh my goodness. Two stocks apiece, bone white. Bone white. And okay. I, you know, that's, that's the thing. Like Ember, very high risk, very high reward. Her signatures can kill pretty early. They hit very hard. And I think he Good was point. he was willing to just make that gamble there. Yeah, well, he landed. He did. He was doing so well with. It. Oh, oh my goodness! My gosh. TB has got some guitar reads. That's TB incredible. With the damage. None of the all those combos you're seeing, those are not simple to pull off. No, uh, not you, at all. And you can't. That's not something you can practice in training mode either. This is like you gotta know. You gotta get in your opponent's head. You gotta know where they're gonna move. You have to pause, but you gotta take a heartbreak pause in your combo to figure out what might happen next. TB's doing it yep. so oh well. He's gosh. so consistent with these with these Katara reads, man. Wow! Side Sig, this is it. The Zaloxery's on his that, last that, duck. That bow was being thrown downwards, which could have knocked him out of the signature. He released it just after the bow deactivated oh, against the ground. You're right, you're right. That was uh, that was that was better than one might imagine, just looking at it. Look at this! TV with the reads! Oh his Katars are insane! Zaloxery, man, Zaloxery, he's got to be sweating right now, right? He had such a big lead in the start. He was almost got a three stock in the first match. Yeah, I mean, and that's now just he's TV playing catch up with the mental fortitude and the adaptation. You know, he was TV. watching Zaloxery's movement, watching his playstyle, and saying, "Wait, wait, wait! 
I think I figured this out. I see the patterns. He's hacked into the Matrix, and that's why he's punishing all of Zaloxery's dodges. He's seen the five down in a row. <laughs> nice! Zaloxery turned it around, and this is good. This is good. He's, he's in the orange. Um, he's at a deficit, but this is good for Zaloxery. This is the best chance he's going to have at getting to top eight. The winner of this stock right now moves to top eight. Loser goes down to loser's bracket. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, okay. TV didn't give him the same. He didn't give him the same read. Tried to do what TV did, but uh, TV didn't dodge the same way Zaloxery did. You got, you got to imagine he's a little more aware of that, considering that he's always taking advantage of it from the oh other side. Oh my gosh! What was that? From across the screen! Oh my goodness! Charge that side. He just signature. thought, "I'm gonna surprise him," and it, it worked. It was. <laughs> he I just mean, caught him by surprise. He, when his when dodge you see was up, a cat have spirit it. sprinting at you full speed, <laughs> fangs bared. Let's see it. Let's see it again here. TV. Uh, so you know, he's he's building Zaloxry up the damage. He grabs right. a sword, right? And Zaloxry goes wide. Look how TV far says, he is. No, no, Look how far fine. away he is. Wide. Oh my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> what a play. And TV brought it back now. TV has brought it back. Wow. Unbelievable. Great, great, great play. I mean, <laughs> I know we say it a lot. Like, that was, wow, yeah. good play, great play. But we're watching top 32 of a 3,000 person bracket. Right. Um, all these plays are going to be great. <laughs> that all was these players absolutely insane. are going to be really, really good. So TB, he's going to be moving on into top eight on the winner's side. Zloxery going down to the lower bracket. I, That was absolutely amazing. All these matches have been so good. So, so good. Summer Championship, baby. Woo! We're at Summer Championship. So we're still looking at uh, top 32. We're on the top 32 side. We're watching top 16 matches right now. Uh, I think we've got one more. Ne no, we've got top eight coming up next. Yeah, top eight's coming, eight coming up, coming so up don't next. go anywhere. We will be back momentarily. The action is still heating up. Stick around.